This project took hours of grinding and so, so long time to complete. It took me more than 100 Minecraft days and nights, all in Minecraft hardcore mode. And after all of this effort, I'm just halfway. And all of this for one simple goal. Bring my favorite game to Minecraft. Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I know, I know. I just named two games. But for me, one does not exist without the other. So what am I gonna build, you may ask? Ori is a guardian spirit that fell from the spirit tree during the storm. So what can I build from this game? The spirit tree in the forest of Nibble. So building a giant tree. I think that's exactly what my island is lacking. Yes, it looks very nice, but addition of a giant tree, especially if it means a lot to me, would be so, so good. Ori is a platform adventure metroidvania. It was developed by Moon Studios. I love this game so much. The style, the art, storylines that makes you cry, and excellent music to guide you through all of this. Coincidentally, Ori is my skin in Minecraft, so you can have the idea. This project was a long time in the making. I know, my Minecraft island is not quite a forest, and I'm not trying to recreate the whole Ori game. I just want to bring some key elements that remind me of Ori. And the spirit tree is, well, I would say it's iconic. It's key element to the game and it will be perfect addition to my world. So let's start building. First I have to decide on size and location. And I don't have anything yet on this side of the island. Having giant trees there is perfect as it will be very nicely visible from my house, but it's not too close, so I can actually see it. I want the tree to be really huge, so let's say something around 20 blocks wide, and obviously taller than any of my trees on the island. So first I'm marking the trunk. I think it looks good enough. Well, it's a little bit hard to comprehend the size right now. It will be more clear when I add branches. But I think this size is good enough. So, what about building materials? I got a shulker monster here. I had a trip to mangrove swamp for leaves and roots. But I decided to go with spruce wood, not log. It's not exactly the same color as this root block. But if I would use the mangrove, first of all, it's harder to farm. But also, orientation on the wood is different. And I would need to care about placement of the wood much, much more if I wanted orientation to be like that. So, let's continue our building. The scale of a project is really huge and I want to be really honest with you. I don't think I will finish this build completely in this episode. Today I will try to complete the whole tree, just trunk and leaves, and in the next episode I will bring it to life and make it more spirit-like. The aim that I put for myself here is quite challenging. Of course I chose it for myself, so cannot complain. Now you can see the main trunk is kind of done, so it needs some branches. As Pablo Picasso said, probably. Maybe it wasn't him, but let's pretend he was. Good artists borrow, great artists steal. I prefer to call it using reference. Obviously building giant tree is not easy, so it's important to have reference. And my reference was this build by Paul Zero. Thank you so much for your work. This giant tree that I'm building is just a skeleton to what I'm planning to do. So I think it's fine to use something as a reference. Anyway, I'm planning to completely transform it in my next episode to make it look more spirit. Anyway, now with all the branches in place, you can really grasp the scale. It already looks so breathtaking. And also there will be so, so much place inside the tree that will give so much room for my future upgrades. But it will need so much leaves, I better start collecting them. By the way, one important note, building of this tree would be complete nightmare if I didn't have this mob switch in place. That tree would be natural mob farm and gathering resources would be much tougher too. So every time I log into my game, I turn on the mob switch. Anyway, back to leaves matter. So, cow, do you know what's my problem here? Oh, you don't care? Fine. I placed my tree on that side of the island, so it's located in jungle biome. Because this side is technically a desert. And look at these desert colors. I even thought about using azalea, but azalea wouldn't be as lush in jungle. And mangrove leaves kind of give me this old tree vibe. I don't know, what do you think? And if you compare these mangrove leaves to jungle, I think jungle leaves give vibe of very young tree. And it's not quite what I'm looking for. So I will stick to mangrove leaves. For now. I hope I won't regret it. So first I thought I will place leaves like that. It's very fast, but that way I need to place so, so, so many leaves. It's definitely not economic. So instead I will try to strategically place leaves in a way that it will look good from outside, but it will be as hollow as possible inside. That way I will save so much resources. And also I will have a lot of secret space to work inside. Just a lot of room for my future projects. Now that I place this edge of the leaves, you can kind of see more full picture and the idea that I'm trying to put here. Unfortunately, I will have to shave some leaves there because of the colors. But look inside, lots of space available to me. So I hope you have the idea. It can fit the whole room, lots of useful space. 
Oh, and I will need to move this beacon. Looks a bit awkward. So I ran out of leaves. I got plenty of shulker boxes in my pockets. It's time to go and destroy another forest. This time mangrove. I know, I know. In previous video I said I would end deforestation in my world, but collecting leaves is different. It's not so easy to make farm for it. It's more convenient to collect it from the source itself, especially when I need such big quantity. By the way, for this project I stay awake for almost every night. But in order to avoid phantoms, I sleep every third night right before sunrise. In order to avoid time loss. Well, if I remember to do so. So the way I'm collecting leaves is to bring two stacks of iron, craft shears, luckily leaves insta mine, even without efficiency. And just do this until shears break and then craft new. And of course grab a bit more resources. May always need them later. Hmm, did I hear that correctly? Someone is definitely spying on me. Hello dear sir, what do we have here? Hmm, two free leads. Thank you very much. Anyway, got to work. So eventually I realized I don't need to cut the whole tree. It's much easier to just shave the top of the mangrove. It looks kind of ugly, but it works better. Please don't judge me too much for doing this. It's it's for greater good, I think. Oh, I'm so tired. Pig, pig, do you like what I do here? Do you like this tree? Pig is not impressed. Why do I even bother? Well, I can't quit now. I need to keep building. Well, I would if they didn't keep bothering me. Well, I must persevere. As I said before, I'm trying to build the cast of the tree. So don't pay too much attention to these gaps in between leaves. I actually kind of need it. And it will be mostly hollow from the inside. Trust me, you will see why in the next episode. But even what I planned for today, it's so much. I haven't realized what I subjected myself into. As you can see from these time lapses, days and nights are passing. I put hours of work into seconds of this time lapse. And if you wonder why I place it this way, look, one side already looks kind of nice. Not quite nice from this side, but that's a process. And I run out of leaves again. But look at my progress so far. I don't know why, but there are a lot of rains and nights in my video. Why was I always filming under conditions like that? I should change my behavior here. <laughs> but you know, in this fog, it looks kind of epic. Yep, I'm quite happy about this. Well, I need another trip to mangrove to restock. But you know what? I've got an idea. What if I don't go alone? Hey, cat, cat, have you heard of Alais? What do you think? Will it be a good idea? Yes, it will. So let's get some music for the mood. Other side is so good for this. I have this Alais for a while. I rescued them from the pillager outpost. And finally, I've got job for them. Or actually, these ones will stay home. I just will need to do some Alay duplication thingy. Yep, that's that's official name. So while the music is playing and the are dancing, I just give them this amethyst chart and they duplicate. Oh, they are so cute. And as long as I hold item that I gave them, they will always follow me and hand me that item if I drop it. So let's make a second one. Now I just need to transport it to the mangrove swamp. Look at that. Oh, I've got an advancement. I, I completely forgot about the advancement. Aren't you nice? So previous time when I was collecting leaves, a lot of them were falling down on the ground and it was a hassle to collect. But with a lace, I just have to mine whatever I want and they will bring me all the loot. Let me show you the example. Yep, now my collection process will be so so much more efficient and possibly fast. So with help of my friends a lace, I have some solid progress on the tree. And you know who else is my friend? You, my subscriber. I hope you enjoy all of the things that I share here with you. And I really appreciate every single comment, like and subscribe that I get. I really love to hear some feedback from you. So please don't hesitate. I always try to reply to every comment. This is episode 16 of this hardcore world. And I just noticed that I actually spent already 500 Minecraft days. I'm so happy I got to survive so long in this world, but a bit disappointed that I couldn't completely finish this project before this magical day. But now it's time to power through and finally finish this tree. I can feel I can do it soon. And I ran out of leaves again. But look who has been waiting for me here. Don't worry, I will bring them home. And they will have house on the tree. They really deserve it. Hey, did you miss me? Just a little bit more and we will be done. Let's go. Yep, that looks like a disaster. But you can really understand when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And now building of this tree is just a matter of time. 
Now as I'm closing this gap, the skeleton of my spirit tree is almost done. Building a giant tree, especially in Minecraft Hardcore. And honestly, I'm not really experienced builder here. It really is great achievement. You can't believe how proud am I and how much effort it was. So now in next episode I will have to bring this tree to life. It looks majestic as it is, but it's not quite a spirit tree from a game that I love. So in the next episode I will have to bring it to life. And in order to do that I will need to involve this ocean monument. I will need a lot of sea lantern. So guardian farm it is. Thank you so so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate if you stayed until the end of the video. And until the next time. Bye.